Hey guys, today I'm going to do a deck tech of Goblins in Standard. I really like this deck. A lot of times I don't like playing the top tier 1 decks. I like to do a little deck building and so this is the deck I'm playing right now which is Goblins. I'll do the sideboard first. Two outpost seeds. Again, sometimes games go extremely long and these are very helpful. Chandra. Chandra is good sometimes, but really, really bad at a time. So she's inside Roast. Roast is against Rhino. It is very good against Abzin. And it essentially takes care of... Pretty much Rhino is the one card that gives this deck a lot of trouble. And the second card that gives the deck a lot of trouble is Mantis Rider. So my meta, my current meta is Mantis Rider or Rhino. So those two make up probably 50% of my current meta. So the volley is very good against a white or blue creature since Mantis Rider is both. It can knock out Mantis Rider instant speed for one, which allows you to get tempo. This is a huge tempo play on Mantis Rider when you kill it and then you can reload and instead of you know casting, tap, having your opponent tap out so you can attack and there's not a creature to block. Roast, again, it's the same principle where having your opponent tapped out and being able to attack in is very important. Uh, Impulse, very good against Jace. And more to the point, there's a lot of green. So I would say Jeskai Black or some variant of Jeskai is the number one deck, then Abzin. And then the next deck, deck would be Green Red Ramp into the Adrazi. And that is a very annoying card because you gotta get rid of those creatures as soon as you can. So yeah, those that's the sideboard. Your main board is you have four Wild Slash. I don't know where the fourth is, but you have four Wild Slashes. You have two, four Glory Chasers, a Zergo. Um, you have Dragon Fodders, a play set of Dragon Fodders. Four Goblin Pile Drivers. Abbot of Carol Keep. This card is a very skill intensive card. It is very important to know when to play. A lot of times, even a play two against something like green red ramp in assuming they don't really do very much and you have spells in your hand like um, exquisite fire or hoarding outburst the it, it can do a lot of damage extremely fast now the reason my deck is slightly different so here's the last wild slash so at one we have wild slash and taylor swift taylor swift being my favorite card to play Right now the deck is a little different because it splashes black, but it doesn't have any disadvantage to splashing black. So then you got four dragons on top to go um, over the top end with. So those are your two drops, your one drops, your two drops. It curves extremely well and that's why this deck is so good because it curves out uh, outbursts, heal cutters, exquisite fire, I'm trying to do you know different combinations of each. So you have a playset of outbursts, a playset of fodder, a playset of pile drivers, and a playset of goblin glory chasers. Now, pile driver is your most important card. Uh, Kologon's command is kind of a neat card. I'll show you the mana base a little bit, and you always can get the black untapped. Um, there's only, and you can always get the red untapped. So there's really no reason not to play. Uh, not to splash a tiny bit of black for Colgan's command. A lot of times, Colgan command is kill Jace, uh, return you know Power Driver or Abbot of Carol. This deck is actually quite skill intensive because there's many avenues. It's not just attacking for damage. Depending on the deck that you're playing with, there's many things you want to do, and a lot of times you, you might even side out the dragons. So you got a playset of Wild Slash, a playset of Goblin Glory Chaser, one Zergo. Bell Striker, a four Taylor Swifts, and that does it for the one drops. Your two drops consist of a playset of Dragon Fodder, a playset of Goblin Power Drivers, and a playset of Abbot of Carol Keep. Abbot is not necessarily a two drop all the time, but it kind of, you have to play that card very carefully because again, Colgan's Command can get Abbot back as well. You can get any creature back, including a dragon, should they die. Uh, Kogan's Command, one of the best cards in this deck. Um, a lot of times you're returning Pile Driver, but it gives you so much flexibility. There's so many different avenues of victory, and I just love it. Like, for instance, Pile Driver or Goblin Glory Chaser into Pile Driver into Heel Cutter. 
that's a massive amount of damage. That's five from Pile Driver, two from the Glory Chaser, and then another three from the Healer. So you're looking at 10 points of damage on turn three. Yeah, that's the ideal scenario, but it doesn't always happen, but it's not bad. Um, it, it, Outburst is crazy with Goblin Pile Driver. It's very good. And then your Dragons, your Thunder Break Regents are very good. And this Dragon, I'm testing it. It seems good sometimes, but a lot of times it's kind of a wasted card. Kolgan's Command, you always want to see Kolgan's Command. And I'll show you exactly why you can get the black always on time. And you have a playset of Bloodstained Mirror. So this is not a budget deck. Um, you have a place of wood foothills and you have one Mars. So normally when you start out, you need two, right? You need two lands. And so you can always play this. Turn one is the most important turn for your deck. Uh, given the fact that you want to hit them for damage and represent and kind of tell them what type of deck you are. Uh, the Mars can be found by eight sources, including the Mars itself. And then you have a bunch of land. You have, looks like 10. Oh yeah, no, so you have, Eight fest lands, one smoldering Mars, making nine black sources, and then 11 mountains. So for this type of deck scenario, Colgan Command is at the higher end of your curve. So when you have something like uh, Wooded Foothills, you can get the Mars when you are when you need to put the, play the Colgan Command. And the correct, I haven't really worked in the correct sequencing, but this is not like a mono red or a typical goblin rabble master deck where you just play your goblins and you attack. There's many, many avenues for you to deal a tremendous amount of damage and win the game against different decks. For instance, Esper Control is one of your best matchups. Um, that's not prevalent where I play. But And Jeske, this is a very good matchup against Jeske because they're, all they're trying to do is put, play Jace turn two, which you can deal with and then playing Manus Rider the next turn, which you can deal with after sideboarding. And that's a very good scenario for you because even if they play Manus Rider and they attack you, you can go, you know, Heal Cutter into Power Driver into, you get so much damage, you just don't have the burn support. This is a very creature-based deck, uh, meaning you die, you, Board Wipe is very good against you, but it's okay because Colgan's Command resets and it resets with the cards you need. Uh, normally, that's Power Driver. Um, if they board wipe at five, you reset with Kogan's Command, you grab Power Driver, maybe you have an outburst, and then now you're, you're still ready to go, and your opponent has reset their field, hopefully, as well. So, very powerful deck. I like this deck. This is the current deck I'm playing with right now. I will do a FNM modern budget deck. Um, that's kind of where the FNM line's going, but that's it. Bye, guys.